Hi everyone, Donut here. What's this you might ask? Another shooting breakdown, three in a row? It's because I love you so much. You seriously are the best community on the internet. Don't at me. Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department shot like their 200th person this year. No, surprisingly enough, they haven't shot three people a week this year. This is only their fifth shooting. It's kind of crazy for the LVMPD. I should make an LVMPD playlist. Ooh, I'll do that. There's some good videos. You guys remember the dude that got one tapped in the back of the head while he was trying to rob a casino? While running, the cop went boom. That was a crazy one. Anyways, today we got 24 year old Chase Rosa who was armed with a sawed off double barrel shotgun. He's got a big long criminal history with some pretty serious felony charges on it. And he also had a felony warrant for some parole violation because he's a piece of shit. So get this, this genius steals a white car, right? And then he takes the tag from a different stolen vehicle and puts it on his stolen vehicle. Big brain moves. And this all started out with him speeding. It's always something stupid. It's like, hey, I'm a felon in a stolen car with a shotgun in my lap. I should speed. Let me make myself as noticeable as possible to the police. So he takes off doing 80 to 120 miles an hour on public roads. Whoever's in charge of the chase says, hey, we need to create a bubble and not get any marked units near him to spook him and him wreck into a baby or something. So they create a mobile perimeter also known as a bubble. On the request of Pitt, that's a negative. If this guy's armed with a 413, we don't want to engage him. We want him to dump that vehicle. Oh, and they also called in the plain clothes boys. You don't want to mess with the plain clothes boys. I don't even want black and whites bubbling. I want the unmarked vehicles bubbling, hoping he lays his vehicle down. He's picking it up pretty fast. He's westbound Twain. Still westbound Twain. Uh, he's about 70 miles an hour now, blowing the blue the red light. The white vehicle was described as a white, possibly a Nissan, four-door sedan, dark-tinted windows break. And during that 4-7, it was uh, driven by a BMA. 915, we're right behind the vehicle. Put this guy in, I think now's a good chance if you want it. The suspect stops running after a little bit at a gas station. He lets out two females who are detained by the LVMPD, and they say, hey, this crazy motherfucker's driving around with a shotgun in his lap. He's doing 80 down public roads, blowing stoplights, just being a general dick. The plainclothes boys are following from a distance when he suddenly slams on his brakes and jumps out of the car, the stolen car with a stolen tag, and points a shotgun at a person trying to steal their car. On gun, we're not gonna try and block him. Okay, you made a U-turn to westbound Twain. But at about the same time, the plainclothes boys pull up. There's one behind them, then there's one car in front of them. So we got two in each car and they are kitted all to hell. One of them yells Metro police and the suspect does the best thing for humanity and points the shotgun directly at a plainclothes boy. I think you know what happens next. On gun, we're not gonna try and block him. Okay, you made a U-turn to Westbound Twain. He's out, He's out of vehicle. Okay, shots are fired. <laughs> Dispatch, we smoke this guy. Metro Police. He's on the ground. Shotgun next to him. Don't reach for it. Don't reach for it. One of the officers ended up firing 11 rounds out of his Glock 17, and the one with the super sweet optic on it fired four rounds. That was a Glock, I think it said, uh, 41. So, uh, so yeah, he did. You see that, kids? That's why you don't play too much Grand Theft Auto. By the way, I made another cool video called Real Life Grand Theft Auto or something. It's right here. That's all I got for you today. Uh, let me just remind everyone that my merch store is back up. It's on Bunker Branding website. I'm going to be doing a cooking stream after this. I'm going to be making some brisket. Remember, if you have Amazon Prime, you can... Connect it with your Twitch account and subscribe to me for free, and it gives me two bucks, two, two fifty. Everybody, please have a fantastic day. Hey, whacker.